Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast and this is NBA 2K22 on 2K Sports. Good coverage you get. Well, as you said, that, that Evan Luigi guy is back. Welcome back to my guy. It's been great having me with you. And also uh, with Son the of game, Beast. game of Son of Beast and, and Evan Luigi, guys. Since we have played it back in first season of 2017 of Pelicans and the Hornets. It was very good matchup here. What do you think? Uh, what do you think what the next matchup is going to be look like? Will it be even more competitive, or will it be will it be very tough for them to try to have a face off win win? No Lonzo Ball. I mean, what's the question? What's you, what's your answer going to be? Grizzlies versus Heat. That's right. We got the next matchup for you. We have Heat. Oh, oh your player two. We have Heat, and I have the other lane. Of, of the Memphis Grizzlies. But what's the competing going to be? But what's the competing going to be? The Heat. Well, I. Well, there's a there's a winner. We got a winner over here, and that's for being. Man, said, Ohio's back. We have we have uh, we have some good players here for the starting lineups that we have. Your take, Evan. Start from uh, Miami Heat lane down below. Kyle, Duncan, Jimmy, PJ, and Bam. Don't forget their last names. Okay, Kyle Lowry, Duncan Robinson, Jimmy Butler, PJ Tucker, Bam Adebayo. And mine on the right, John Morant, Desmond Bain, Zary Williams, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Steven Adams. Last season, he played with the Thunders, but this time he's now going with the Grizzlies side to show how it's done. So, what am I going to do? Maybe I'm going to heat it up on, on the on the city of this. Same and, city, same city. And for your good Miami friend of this jersey, of the city. Let's head you over to Fo FedEx Forum, Memphis, Tennessee. I think we're ready. Kevin Hall is back in. We're coming to you from well, tonight. Well, we have commentators back on, so we will stay silent. Let's bring them up. It's for you, Kevin. And David Aldridge. Chris Webber to my right. Chris Webber. To my left. I'm Kevin Hart. And David Aldridge out of the sideline. Looking out with the numbers. I'm looking to the butler. He's still good, is he? Yeah, that for this season. But last five games was 13.4. Kyrie Irving. Wow. Beating over Kyrie Irving may not be the deal. Kevin Durant has a torn 8 MCL. And let's have a quick time report. David Aldridge. That's Marcus Aldridge's friend. Jerry Jackson Jr. is in continuing in his father's NBA footsteps. Asked about that influence, Jaron said, just his heart for the game and tenacity. You have to be able to shoot and play defense because you don't want to be a liability. At the end of the day, my dad did all of that, and he won a ring. Kevin Jerry Jr. wants that last part, too. I can see why, D.A., and I think he's well on his way. Thank you for that. Thank you so much, D.A. In terms of personnel, not exactly the matchup. Make some noise! Some Here are the key matchups. That's going to be Jimmy Butler and Zari Williams. Oh, sorry. For the it's for Duncan Robinson. And here is our response shot. Head coach for the Heat. Career. And it's Autobio Gibson. And for Memphis. Here we go. Looks here live. Miami wins. Then it's Morant. And it's Payne in at the two spot. Now here is Lowry, and he comes up with the deuce. And try to name a six footer who likes to foul inside. Get your man. Big man. Strands to the middle. Oh, what a play. 2 2. And they It's Bain. Outside Butler. This one for three. Late. Too late. Yeah, too late on that one. Gotta carry it off. Outside the wheels. Back to Morant. Morant. Oh, that was late. 
missing. And it's out of bio with the ball for the Miami Heat. Here's Butler. And the oh! oh. Even talking about people. Jared Jackson Jr., first block of the game. First quarter of play, one minute play. Out of bio passes to Robinson. Here's Butler. Good, to the Good drive. Robinson. He's so Jimmy focused. Butler. Butler does not let the defender get to his head. That's a sign of We're going to put that up. And Did we, Chris? Your call. I'll put it up. I called it. Huge improvements you want that up? Guy is a Too late. Tucker Cotton. We want power, Tucker. Moran's against Lowry. Moran kicks to Williams. Baseline Jay. Hey, oh! And Coach Foster says that out of my yes, he has to put in the work to improve. And, and Kevin, you see it in his game every year. Never takes a summer off. Oh. Comes back each year. Bam out of bottom. Do it. To his brother. Not today. He was surprised. Not saying that. That wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. He had to bring much faster. No, not. Hey, no good. Uh, he have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. He's trying try and foul. Or a shooting foul. I didn't do it. You know why? Because I just did not take it from here. P.J. Tucker's number one sneaker in his game. It's not even close. The man owns hundreds and hundreds of kicks. In 2018 playoffs, P.J. wore 22 different barriers. I'm sure. P.J. Callen. Now here's Morant. He's a guy that's a right DJ Callen. Over 25 points. That's a rapper. Jackson passes to Bain. Memphis moving that ball around. Butler with the ball. Williams picks him up. Butler attacking. And the rejection by Jackson. Second block of the game. Morant finds Jackson. Three pointers, Duncan Robinson. Good job. 11 7. Who's winning? Whoa, watch out! Watch out with that dog. It's John Morant. Morant Durant. That rhyme. So, is it Chris? We will bring it up for Miami. Robinson kicks the ball. No good that time. No good. in the post. Wide of Iowano. Shot clock at six. Here's Payne. Outside Williams for three. Connect. Three! There's Williams! 12-11. Two point lead. It's all about establishing the rhythm. When you start to see it fall, you begin to believe. Two minutes in the first period. Robinson. Robinson's got his third assist on the night. He should have talked for half. Drawing contact means nothing to him. How about second bucket of a night? He's tough as nails. He's making a free throw. I'll call him first for Memphis. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. Yeah, with most of the arena against them, they just banded together. He's trapped. One another to make Don't the keep it man to man. No, you're not going to put the full court on that. Keep it man to man. Do we, Chris? Yeah, you're, you're doing too much anyway. No trap, press. No, just go back, go back. So Memphis ends up going with the new group. Tyler Hero, you know him? Sit the standings. All right, we already talked about it before. Now they've compiled the third best record in the conference. And guys, when you look like at high school basketball trap, do they, Chris? No, it's not. It's the for no. <clears throat> but, uh, at this stage, that's what they, when they need help, that's what they do. Stay here. That is his first call of the game. Yeah, that's a tough call right there, and really a tough break for the defense. 
Here's Jones. Too late. Grizzlies with another miss. Not sure what, what the beat was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can hit it. Bounce. Grizzlies ball. And let's take a look Blue at ball. Lowry's numbers. Over the last month, getting it done. Getting around 12 points a game, 8 assists, and 3 rebounds. And, and you look at his huge role in their offense. Didn't hang his head, kept working, and he's earned his key. And that one goes in. Two from the one that time. Lang has gone two or three from so far in this game. And there's the pass to Hero. And there's the whistle that goes on John Rojo. I was going for the block, that's all. Three or five seconds left to play in the first quarter. Back to Lowry. Now Melton. And he really played well against Ben. Anderson, wide open. Three! Anderson! Second bucket of the night. Full effort from Butler on the putback. The rare wheel. Hit the offensive. Jones dishes to Anderson. Passes to Conshaw. Back to Anderson. Here's the three. And three! Anderson! Outstanding at the offensive end. We've got a lot of game left to play. Here's Hero. And he chances. Oh, watch out, Tyler. Hero out of the Great jump shooter. Hero is a tremendous ball. And he can finish the drive without a hand. And the high scoring first quarter. The whole team is really going up. It's the Grizzlies. They lead by a button. Live from the FedEx Forum, you're watching 2K Sports. Out here, you know, the coaches and my teammates all trust me. Um, it's just the beginning, just continuing to get better. It's a long season, a long road ahead. Just getting started, but many feel his upside is special. Well, I mean, he's never been intimidated. I'm not even kind of intimidated. He's so confident in his abilities, and that's a great foundation. Whoa! And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offense approach for the Grizzlies. Three pointer has been a major weapon for them in the early stages. I mean, they'd be smart to keep moving and working on the And also, defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight. And, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. They've got Clark. Jones is up there with the Anthony Melton. Then there's Kyle Anderson. And it's Conshaw getting the small forward. That's the group for Memphis to kick off the second quarter. Now here's Jones. Brandon Clark missing his last shot. And that, that was a weird sight on I've never seen that one just before. The lead the four the Grizzlies. And down by the nation. Indicative of smooth offensive play. Up at 60%. They're a machine from the floor. And that one. Kyle Hero. All right, Greg. You're a lefty. You're on the call tonight. Here we are courtside. Who do you think is the best left-handed player currently in the NBA? Oh, it's the beer. <laughs> Is that so? Well, no question. Carrying that torch for us lefties going forward. I have no doubt. Not blocking. Make us proud. Now here's Melton. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Another shot. Shot clock at three. Here's Jones, and they have their chances. Two up. 
offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. Let's go down to the sideline and catch up with Jason Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. After their trip to the NBA Finals in 2020, Miami Heat is looking to get back to that championship round. We want to what we're capable of. We want to get back to the Finals. We can. I like our chances against anybody, honestly. Nobody intimidates us. Kevin? Great attitude. They've shown they can compete at the highest level, David. Thank you. So Memphis ends up going with the new group. Martin's got one shot left. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. This could be a one-point lead. On free he does. Good. Now leading by one. 27-26, close game. Another guy really kicked it up and out for them in that Nuggets game. Pass to Williams. Rebound by the Heat. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Penn. Yeah, but what a tremendous You know, Coach Guy. All even up. Chris, you know, Coach Guy. No. Andrew Guy, you know him? No. I don't know him. I don't know him. He's a coach. Bat Burrow. I think there should be a combination. He's not here. He's the longest guy as a pro 
Marlo's not playing, Mark, but for real, Burrow. I wish we could have had him, but we don't. We're a B North, are we? You're a B North already. You're an A North. Working through the rain, Randy. This is a change of speed. Crazy, is it? Well, it's a different lead. Robinson. Division. And there's a spotlight. Playing very late. Memphis with the ball. Good momentum. Eight straight points. Passes it to Adams. Here's Bain. And by Robinson. Back to Adams. Eight points for him. Just five to shoot. There it goes. And that's, oh, that's a good bucket already. Right. Timeout. Miami. Miami calls their first timeout of the game. They're trying to spin the tide here. Oh, that's going to be another one to make the timeout. Yeah. We'll be right back with you after this. Memphis going with almost an entire new group. Tillman, he's checked in for Stephen Adams. Anderson comes in for Jackson. Conshaw has checked in for Williams. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Bain. That's it. And he spins it one-handed. Dropping the sledgehammer there. He curves a 10-0 run by Memphis. And so Morant will bring it up for the Grizzlies. Their next game is at the American Airlines Center in Dallas for a game with the Mavericks. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip. Oh, that, that's going to be a real game. Not, not for the NBA 2K. It's different, though. And he drives in, and the hoop for his third mid from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. And what can Adebayo do? I mean, gets the tough rebounds, scores the tough baskets, and that makes the right pass. Morant missing. Still plenty of time for him to contribute in this game, but it's some tough stretches going. Lowry drives in, drops in the layup for two. Lowry's got seven points. Oh, nice drive by Lowry, cutting the defense to pieces and then getting himself open for a look. Now two passes to Morant. They take out to Anderson. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Heat lead by two. It's time now to go courtside as we we'll start. David Aldrich. Aldrich David. Sideline. David, take it away. <clears throat> Thank you, Kevin. Here with Kyle Lowry. Kyle came out strong to take advantage of the first half. Were you pleased with the effort? Yeah, uh, we got to keep it up. Our defensive intensity has to stay high. That has led to some great play at the other end. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll okay, for we're going to come back after this, so stick with us. Let's check out the first half summary of the highlights. Grizzlies and Heat. Let's see what they say. Four points. They gained a little ground there in the second quarter. Kenny, let's get your take on my end. Well, I like what I'm seeing on the offensive end. To keep it things simple, getting to their spots and executing. Up in the kind of like that. And over to the big fella. Your thoughts on the Grizzlies' first half? I like the way they rebounded. They devote a lot of energy down low, fighting for each other on the board. And they help keep it all tight. If they can continue to do that, they can easily be the factor that swings the game in their favor. That's it for today. Let's go back on the court. With the second See you guys all the next time. Send you back to Kevin, Kevin Harlan. Harlan. Go back. Okay, guys, go back. And in that first half, we saw a great tight end. We'll soon find out what sort of... 38-36, they're close. Turning the hand. But we're ready for the first quarter. Okay, that was a sloppy one. I shouldn't do that. Here it comes, Bray. Oh! Tied up. Well, they're back in already. He's joined by Butler. And it's Lowry in at the point. Miami's gone three to six tonight when they let it fly from downtown. Pass to Tucker, and here's Adebayo. Somehow ignores the Somehow it just gets a little late. Adebayo's got his second best. Out on you. That's a Grizzlies ball. Nate. Yep, that's your last touch. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And this is why coaches stress mobile one block defense. Big block there in this close game. Oil, mobile one, oil exchange. What a play here. Thank you, Jaron Jackson. That's like the biggest defenseman. Adams outside. Uh-oh. 
Adams uh, saying, where's Adam ba where's the defenseman? Pull back! Oh, again! Gets up as fast as anybody who moves and watch out. The defense not putting up any fight. He did. They've allowed 10 straight points in the bank. No siree. It's mine. To the field, here's Jackson and the jump by Jackson. <laughs> Colin Jackson is this. It was their 50th anniversary, and in 2019, we did the Lakers and Warriors in a, in a Western Conference matchup by those teams. Good. It was very, it was very good, actually. We did really good. We did the best as we can. Not really much to say about it, but that's all there is. Might be too much to think of it. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group. Clark, he's checked in for Steven Adams. Kyle Anderson comes in for Jaron Jackson. Hey, come on, defense, let's go. And Tyus Jones subbed in for John Moran. The lead also changing it up. Spruce is checked in. And it's Tyler Hero in for Robinson. When Lowry won gold in 2016, the U.S. team coaches had... Oh, oh, that's dirty. That's a dirty move out there, it says says, see ya, I'm balling. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And guys, out of bounds. Stay here. Grizzly, stay here. Grizzlies are still, still here. Down going to the trap. Is it? No, no offense. Still, the hustle is impressive. The Grizzlies trail by Boy, 10. Here. Jones gets to Anderson. Again, Memphis, no good. Three minutes in the third period. Such an open look. And keep us updated. Oh, no. Let's go. 
the bounce. No shot. No shot. As NBA revenues climb into the tens of billions of dollars, teams have even more resources to compete. Staffs are growing with more coaches, trainers, and specialists, so general managers have more to manage than ever. Generally, the best organizations are those that effectively collaborate and communicate across the board. Shot on one! Throughout this game, yeah, we're also credit for the layups they've had tonight after strong drives. Bain with two basket. shots. Well, it's one shot. Excuse me. There's 138 left to play in the first. Hero passes to Autobahn. Butler from outside. They get the rebound. Adebayo's got 58-49, who's winning? Still having up. It's a strength of Adebayo, picking up the garbage and putting it in. Here's Melton, offline with this group. He's like, nobody on me, I don't know what happened. He's going to think twice about feeding you And it's Cruz missing. Grizzlies trail by nine. Melton with the ball. to Jones. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Oh, I did it early again. Miami is on two or three when they venture out. I was like, on me, I don't know why I did this. The try fell out, and it's blocked. Uh, I think that was Clark. I don't know what that is. I am not sure. And this shot blocked him despite having an average wingspan. Oh, he, even by nine. Going too quick here on the three. Being blocked. Hero misses from short range. Hero. He's gone in a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6 of 13 from the field here in the third. Clark, the pass to Jones. And here is Clark. Foul. On a bye. Second team foul on Miami. It's about expanding the range so that it makes him more versatile for the offense. More street throw is good. Teams choosing it up here. One change here. Lowry's, Lowry in the bench. Lowry's going to be on the bench. You got a hero. Hero's back up. All five players are checked, but Clark moves over to point forward. And so Clark nails both of them. Ten seconds. Butler feeling out of it. Driving inside. Oh, and a chance by Butler. Yeah, I was not going to do that. I mean, here's a guy who can shoulder the load offensively any night. Bain inside. Oh, Busbeer! It's a two-pointer. Great job of getting the look. The field goal horn sounded again. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. This is a fun game to watch. Miami ahead, leading by seven. And will return shortly. Our State Farm Assistant Let's bring you to a State Farm Assistant game, Kevin said. With this speed, they had no chance to prevent that basket. You know, it's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's one. That stands for you. Shortly, that. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Uh, eight, leading by seven. All right now, a chance to set the floor. Curtis Hart Gatorade. Fourth quarter action. All fueled up and ready to go. Taking a look at the Grizzlies. We've got DeAnthony Melton. And it's Tillman in at the center, pulling out the middle. And here are the Grizzlies now. The Heat getting the ball. A three from Anderson. Three! Uh, Anderson. with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. They're going for the throat, Kevin said. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for Memphis. Hero picks the mark. 
pass to Autobio. Butler from outside. Grizzly with the rebound. Trying to do our best, not not just putting up too much dirty offensive or defensive uh, throat going in there and out of bounds. We're not trying to like just do it too much. But I think it looks like the Grizzlies. And I'm not sure what place they're in. I got Well, I know that Miami they're like tying up. I, they are tying. They're they're tying up with the Nets in this score. 29 wins, but for the Grizzlies, they're at one win lead behind the Warriors. What's this going to be about? WNBA! I mean, I don't know I don't know what to say, but this is going to be very tough for the Grizzlies to try to face it off if they can make stay in the top three. Jill Memphis scoring with almost an entire... We got a new sub. Steven Adams, he's checked in for Tillman. Sharon Jackson comes in for Anderson. Williams, he's checked in for John Concho. And it's John Morant in for DeAnthony Melvin. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer. Remember David Aldridge. During that break, Eric Spolster had some words for his team. He said, I Vincent's got his first points of the night. They are just killing him on the interior. Beats to Williams. Terrific assist. And nice finish. Solid point all around. I forgot to use the control of how to use the alley from this point on. And they got to try to figure this out. That high quality shot. And then they will knock it down. Oh, they get it back. It's good. Wayne the heat lead by Wayne Devon. And that's why you never stop working in the paint. Either end of the Morant passes to Bain. Now here's Adams. Right wing releases. Bain, no good. But he leading by five. Here's Akala. The rebound by Stephen Adams. Contest. Memphis has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Ah, oh, that's goaltending. Goaltending. a very close call. I'm sure he thinks it's a clean block, but looks like it was on. No, that was a goaltending. That was clear. That what's the ref just said. From downtown, here's one of my He can't get it to go. And Memphis the other way now. Looks like they're going for a tie. I don't know if they can do it. Adams outside. Jackson passes to Adams. Nah, Adams can't usually do this. It's going to be out of breath for him. Over three so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Lowry. And the rejection by Jackson. Lowry shot. Who's winning? Wait, Jackson or is it Lowry? Lowry. 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 Over the corner, William. Uh, I'm 
with that for you. I'm sure I've been past that. Sorry. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. by six. We've got 118 left here in the fourth quarter. Looks like we're going to have to try to like fix it up on offense. I mean, both players are getting tired already. Maybe that's what's causing them problems. Let's get your New Balance player of the game. And now what do you think of the New Balance player of the game? his spots and, and you need that kind of patience and discipline to shoot as well as he had. The Anthony Mac has won the ID. It's different on that point. Williams picks to more rest. The, on the top, is it? Red, is it? In between the color, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure which one it is. As you already seen the last game, it looks like the Grizzlies have tried to snuck things out of it. I, I'm pretty sure it looks like it did, did snuck it out a bit. Not too much was happening. I, I don't know what to say, but this is like the only game that just happened. They played against the Phoenix Suns, and I don't know what happened to them. Well, Devin Booker just did it. That's what he totally did. Nothing else to say about it. And for the Heat, they played against the, the Spurs. It was a fantastic matchup. This turned out to be very hard. Of eight seconds. All right. All right, be ready, and here we go. Both teams, one timeout. We've got 113 left in the fourth quarter of this one. To the right side. Here's Jack. And they're going to try to go for the uh, go to tie it. Let's see if they can try to do it. But first, they got to try to fix it. Over in the corner, Williams. He measures it to Jackson. Oh, he decided not to do it. Close game. It's going to be a very close one. Don't suck. 
Do we know so, Phil? Well, now I gotta now I gotta try to fix it on my last look, you know, on offense. You want me to man. Understand? Well, there you have it, folks. Now it's time to present the three star players of the game. And here are the standings. Number three. That was like a biggest moment of upset. That I was really expecting to see that coming. When I just recalled it, it was Kyle Lowry. With 14 points, three rebounds, six assists, two steals, and just one. One heck of a performance of, a, of making the turnover to try to turn things around a bit. Just a good performance. 28. That's it. That's all we have known. It's about that. Number two spot. I'm expecting this was going to be very tough, but now or never, it was Desmond Bain that picked up 23 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, and a dunk performer. At 36. Well, that's just very, really well done here for Bain. Could have been the game winner here, but it did not happen. And, of course, John Moran, but points didn't count for as much. And the number one player, that I recall that, well, who won? There's a winner of the game, 
that turned out to be overturned. That was Jimmy Butler. 17 points, two rebounds, yes. one, one steal, and an incredible four dunk performance for game winning in the row. I don't know what's the point with this guy, but after last season, they already won against the Spurs. That's from recalling season five, 2K21. Well, that's it. For me and Chris, um, Signing out with Evan Luigi Guy, I'm Son of Beast. This has been a presentation of the NBA 2K22. For more info, you can check out more playlists here last season and a few seasons ago. So, with that being said, thank you, Evan Luigi Guy. It's been great playing since. Uh, I won, Miami. Since, I won. Since a great couple of the seasons that we really enjoyed. So, with that, 80, um, that 82. being said, that being said, 82, 81 is here. Like, not gonna be close enough here. Meet Heat with the win. See you guys next time. Peace out, home peoples. For as a while as the NBA 2K22 dial. And for me, goodbye.